Hello, everyone. Here, I would like to introduce our work about 3D CNN acceleration on FPGA using hardware aware pruning. I am a PhD student at Northeastern University, and my research focus is on deep learning model compression and hardware acceleration. 3D CNNs have been widely applied in areas like video classification and action recognition, as well as medical image analysis. The standard 3D CNN architecture, namely C3D, suffers from a large number of model parameters and large amount of computations. Additionally, several novel 3D CNN structures are emerging. One of them is R2 plus 1D based on ResNet backbone with much less parameters and higher classification accuracy. It splits each 3D convolution into a 2D convolution in the spatial dimensions and a 1D convolution in the temporal dimension. The structure we use contains 40 convolutional layers. Next, I will introduce our pruning technique for 3D CNNs. We we'll adopt the loop tiling technique for the FPGA implementation because of limited resources for storage and computation. Our pruning method is able to adapt to tiling. Specifically for a weight matrix of a convolutional layer, we define a weight block in pruning the same as a weight tile in FPGA design. Suppose a weight matrix consists of M filters and N channels, and we let each weight block contain TM filters and TN channels namely TM times TN kernels. Each width block is completely pruned or preserved, so we call our pruning scheme as blockwise width pruning. The width pruning problem is considered as an optimization problem which can be solved by ADMF. The whole problem is split into three sub-problems that are solved iteratively. For each width matrix WI for the S convolutional layer, Two additional variables, ZI and VI, are introduced. The first step is updating W through stochastic gradient descent. The second step is updating the weight box in Z and setting the values of an important weight box to zero. The importance of weight blocks is measured by their auto norm, and the weight blocks with auto norm less than a threshold value data will be pruned. The third step is updating the variable v. After enough ADMM iterations, we mask the zero weights in W and perform retraining to improve the model accuracy. Here is the algorithm of our pruning method. For the weight matrix for each convolutional layer, we define a pruning ratio, and the corresponding pruning threshold can be calculated. The ADMM pruning is performed for several rounds with increasing ADMM loss penalty parameter denoted by rho. Finally, a certain number of weight blocks are preserved to meet the sparsity requirement. Next, I will introduce our hardware framework for the tiled convolution with block enable signal. As mentioned before, a weight block in pruning is equivalent to a weight tile in FPGA design. Each weight block has a block enable signal which is pre-stored in an array in octave memory. If the block signal is enabled, the weight tail and the corresponding input feature tail are fetched from octave memory to on-chip buffers and participate into computations in the processing unit to generate the output feature tail in the output buffer. The output tail is supposed to process if there exist layers such as batch normalization shortcut connection, activation, and pooling. If the weight block is not enabled, then the whole computation process for the block is skipped. Here is the detailed flow of the 3D convolutions. The loop pipelining and unrolling techniques increase the parallelism of the design. Specifically, there are TM times TM processing elements in parallel each managing a multiply and a accumulation operation. In our work, we test C3D and R2 plus 1D, but our design can be generalized to more 3D CNN variants. Here are our experiment configurations and results. The ADMM pruning is performed for four rounds. 
The accuracy of portraying the original R2 plus 1D model on UCF11 data set is 89%. We we'll adopt two block size configurations, namely 64 times 8 and 64 times 16. The accuracy loss of prune sparse models is negligible. The R2 plus 1D network contains five layer blocks, and we only prune the most computation intensive layers in the second and third blocks. With up to 10 times on compression rate for layer block, we can achieve an overall compression rate of 3.18 times for the whole model. The tiling parameters TM and TN are the same as for weight blocks. For the feature dimensions, namely depth, height, and width, the tiling sizes are respectively 4, 14, and 14. The data format is 16 bit fixed point, including a sign bit, 7 integer base, and 8 fractional bits. Please note that the design space is more challenging for R2 plus 1D due to more irregular kernel sizes, shortcuts, and more types of operations. Compared to the uncompressed R2 plus 1D model, our full model could achieve speed up of 2.6 times. This is our work. Thank you.